Hello everyone, this is Nitrogen here and welcome back to another video. I've been sticking to the news lately and I've seen virus reports on this new coronavirus that has erupted in China. While seeing some informative and fair news and stuff, I've also seen some very misleading ones and worse, racism. There are certain people just likes to blame the government and the people of themselves suffering from this disease. So I would like to make a video about this new coronavirus disease thing. I know, I'm gonna get demonetized for this, but the thing is I'm not even monetized yet. So yeah. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic then. The coronavirus disease, known as COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 2019, is an infectious disease caused by the coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 a virus very similar to SARS in terms of its genetic codes. The symptoms include coughing, fever, sore throat, and in more severe cases, pneumonia and multi-organ failure. It's primarily spread between people and people via respiratory droplets. The case was first identified in Wuhan, a city in central China, and the source of the virus was rumoured to be from wild animals in the Huanan seafood market, which eats bats, which is where the virus is from originally. So, with enough facts, we can actually see some statistics. At around the beginning of November, there was a rumour of animal-to-human transmission of some unknown virus. Around 1st December, the first case, which is not related to the Huanan seafood market, occurs. Then, the market was declared infectious on 10th December. Around 26th December, a doctor in Wuhan had informed the hospital about unknown pneumonia cases that didn't turn well after days of treatment. The next day, the hospital have informed the Wuhan authorities and the disease control department. The 28th, the hospital then have reported to the Hubei Province Healthcare Commission. Around the 30s, the China CDC was notified, which means that it is being reported to the central government. On the 31st of December, the World Health Organization was informed just a few days since the Wuhan authorities were notified of such case. Since then, China was in the so-called emergency status, which means pumping supplies, both medical and economical, into the Hubei province. The infections have escalated dramatically, infecting hundreds, more than 30 deaths occurred. On 23rd January, the city of Wuhan was in official lockdown to contain the virus as fast as possible, prohibiting any traffic in and out of the city except medical and food supplies. This is the single biggest lockdown of any city in human history, with more than 10 million trapped inside the city and more than 52 million were small or less affected. During the time, plans for the Huashinshan and Leishinshan hospitals were made and are scheduled to complete within days. And they did. Right after the Chinese New Year, both hospitals were completed and soon put into maximum capacity, which provides a relief for the currently spiking patients rushing into the already full hospitals existing in Wuhan. They were equipped with all basic hospital instruments and hold more than 2,000 patients in total. This is a literal show off of China's horrific infrastructure building potential at emergency times. I mean, not even anti China YouTuber can deny that. The numbers obviously continue to rise, and more foreign cases were confirmed. Japan, South Korea, the United States, the United Kingdom, India, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Philippines, to name a few. Although at the time there was no massive outbreaks in these countries, it's still handled very carefully. It seems like after the initial spike, the newly reported cases have started to decrease, and more of the existing patients have been cured. Now according to reports, in China there were more cured cases than existing ones which is definitely worth celebrating for. Now, let's make something clear. There are voices on the internet that says the Chinese officials are hiding the real numbers and these patients were treated like hell in these hospitals. Well, I don't have sources, so does you. We wouldn't know that whether the Chinese government are covering up these cases. I wouldn't know if other countries are covering up too. This is not a good excuse to be sour about, what I knew was during the H1N1 outbreak, the United States government did cover up lots of cases. And when I say lots, I mean a lot, like tens of millions of people. 
so the Chinese government might cover these cases up, but I don't think that only China does that. Then why are you still directing a fire at China and insulting Chinese people? I don't know. But you just can't deny China's efforts in containing the virus and battling it. And now, more on the personal side. I'm a Chinese. I live in Malaysia. I go to an international school. While people might be joking, they say, do you have corona? And when I say no, they say, but you're from China. It sounds like Chinese people are supposed to have coronavirus. All of them. Furthermore, when they pass things to other people, they'll reject and say, I don't want coronavirus. How you feel? This is outright racism. The coronavirus is just an excuse for you to be racist, right? But I think I went too far. But this is not just just not good to insult your Asian friends just because they are from China or Japan or South Korea or even other countries like Italy or Iran because I can predict the cases are still going to grow maybe to your own country next time so just be kind to people you know but I think that wraps up for today's video hope you have enjoyed make sure to smash the like and subscribe button also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any more awesome videos of mine See ya.